Hey guys, welcome to another episode of uh, Friendship Level 5. Uh, today, we're talking to the one and only... The one and only Rory, sorry about that. Um, we, we have him in Discord right now, let's go talk to him. You can. You didn't hear on any of that, did you, Rory? Nope, Perfect. all quiet. Perfect. Alright, you invited me to watch your screen, eh? Yep, that's all set up to go. So, invited you to party. I have to join it. And then I can go and watch your screen. Perfect. There we go. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so you're able to get that just through like phone and or through a uh, Discord and everything, or? Yeah, I can hear and see everything. Perfection. Perfect. All right. So, uh, let's just start off, if you remember. Do you remember when we met? <laughs> oh. That's got to be at least three or four years back. It would have been early in the days when I actually started playing PlayStation and became friends with Colton. Was it friends with Colton or friends with uh, Ray? I became friends with Colton through Ray first. I don't think we really started talking until, uh, oh, what was it? Uh, till kind of we were playing D2 and stuff. Uh, whoa. Yeah, so. I, uh, didn't, I didn't think it was D2 because I thought you weren't, you weren't into D2 for the first little bit. I know that because you were. I was, whoa. whoa. I was not into D2 for, whoa, for the longest time. Uh, I'm trying to. I think it could have been. So let's look back at this. When was it? It was like three years ago, at least. That it was when Ray finally... went to college. I could tell you that. Well, that was uh, that was uh, seven years ago at this point. Oh wow! Holy shit! <laughs> or six, six or six years? Six years. But I didn't start talking to Colton and to I guess Ray online. Then I met Colton through that on. Uh, Oh, like the end of 2018. I'm just trying to think. So no, it. it's I I know I didn't know I didn't meet you guys till I was in the apartment, and that was five years ago. Yeah, honestly, D two might have been when we first actually talked. Yeah, now that something like that. I I know at least I was in parties talking to some people. Well, I know we, I met. We may have talked before then, but yeah. I think. D2 is when we, like, actually started talking. Probably. That's, <laughs> that's, the, that's, that's the earliest I can think of. That's about the earliest I can think of as well. Um, uh, yeah. So yeah, five years. That's... And then we didn't, start we didn't start really playing games together until, like, Dead by Daylight. Yeah, until, like, probably two or three years ago that we, me and you started playing games. Probably. Something along those lines, yeah. Speaking of video games, do you have what what hobbies do you usually do outside of uh outside of video gaming there, Rory? Outside do? of gaming, I have a number of fairly basic hobbies. The only one that I really put a significant amount of uh I guess resources to is playing golf. So I play golf very rarely, because that is an extremely expensive sport to play, even though it's so fulfilling and uh <laughs> kind of rage inducing at times much like a video game i didn't even know you played golf that's awesome <laughs> been playing since i was three. Oh wow so you've played it a lot is there a good um is there a good golf course where you are plenty of them saskatoon's just full of they have golf courses littered all around the outskirts so Did, has ray ever gone with you he has not though there was a plan a while ago because he's played regular sized golf he has never played mini golf, so it was a plot for quite some time to try and force him to play mini golf at one of the little courses around the city. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> we had a whole plan for it before the pandemic happened, but uh, yeah, no, I don't think Ray's golf clubs are even up here right now. You you live in Saskatoon, right, Rory? Yes. Well, we're I'm coming down there pretty soon. We should like make yeah, the plan I, to, to I, go do it I together. I remembered I remembered that like just in a passing thought a while ago. Like, oh shit, 
Tristan's coming up here sometime. Uh, I'm coming up there next month. We should plan. We'll we'll take him mini golfing. Me, you, and <laughs> me, you and him. No wait, We we got we got to do. We have to plan because you're gonna be here on at least one Wednesday, right? Uh, I am coming on a Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, mm, that might be a little too early then. Because one thing I did have a thought is you can join us for Wing Night. Because that's another thing to do. That's another thing that's kind of a common reoccurrence in Saskatoon is at uh, Wing Nights with the boys. So what is Wing Night? Essentially, it started up back when I kind of first met Ray in general. So mm -hmm. we met through a mutual friend of ours that I had known for a couple of years. And uh, <laughs> essentially, we just go to a bar that's really not too far from my place, coincidentally. Uh, just order wings and chat. Uh, very few of us actually drink, uh, ex <laughs> except for me. So uh, it's kind of just shoot the shit and figure out what kind of shit's happened. There's been, like, discussions of all manner of, uh, like, kind of just what's going on in college, what we've heard, social media. It's like a, it's like a podcast. A, but... a podcast without the <laughs> recording. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, a podcast minus the recording and uh, no ads, no pressure or whatever. Well, that's, I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I could listen to a podcast without ads, that'd be the best thing ever. Yeah, it's even funnier when some of us actually do drink, like uh, the Halloween a few years ago when there was a deal on if you buy, I think it's if you buy a bucket of beer, you got a free pizza, and the bar that we go to has really damn good pizza. Oh, wow. So, two of us drank. So, uh, that's a bucket of beer to each of us, because we ordered two pizzas. <laughs> so, I was... Uh, not feeling my best after an I was entire. I would say, how are you feeling after that? <laughs> uh, it was fun. Oh, I bet. I don't know that. A, um... I turned to a giggly bitch when I drank, but. <laughs> was it you that had the like? You was it you that tested alcohol for a little bit, or was that fancy? That was fancy. Well, technically, I test alcohol as well at my work, but uh, that's like my own thing to do. Like, I just test alcohols that we have available to see if they actually taste good, and then I can kind of push them to get them sold and stuff typical salesman type shit but where do you work out of curiosity a liquor store oh Just you do Sobe's work at a liquor or... store okay yeah yeah that's why fancy and i were liquor store buddies for a while fuck that's the I, wrong button i forgot who it was because i knew one of you guys uh like got paid for testing alcohol I just didn't remember yeah. which one it was. Fancy was the one who got paid to test it because i think he was doing like sommelier training or something to be like a the best of the best uh drinkers That's... essentially like you can take a sip of one thing and dissect every little piece of its taste which that... i'd love to be able to do that but it requires proper training to do that and uh a lot of drinking yeah and i don't have a lot of time for that yeah um what is something that in, in your life that you're super proud of or like an event that you've done or something like that so i've graduated college uh, I actually have a bachelor's degree in archaeology, and I'm kind of trying to determine if I actually want to do anything like uh, anything else with that. So the whole, <laughs> that's kind of where on my streams, it's always titled something like archaeologist plays insert here or insert title here. Mm -hmm. So I am proud of it, even though I don't know if I'm actually going to do anything with it, because it's just a fascinating field to be able to be a part of, even though it's... <laughs> The field work is kind of the part that's not for me for it. Did you went on a like a dig, didn't you recently? Several actually. Uh so that was part of my job last uh last year. Uh just to earn some extra work and get some work experience in the field, I was doing consulting work. So okay. essentially if you're outside of the academic field in archaeology, you have to do you're kind of just limited to consulting and stuff, which really kind of sucks cuz it's Anytime there's some sort of earth moving operation, you call up a consulting firm and they have to run all these different types of tests to make sure that whatever you're going to be doing isn't going to wreck anything that wasn't already there. Mm -hmm. So things like, uh, shit, I didn't want to do that. Uh, so in my, at least in the case of my career, anything like a historical uh, or archaeological site that could be there, say like a, uh, an old encampment or uh, like a trading post site. You have to make sure that something like that isn't uh, like the remains of that aren't in the area before you start digging a whole bunch of stuff up. Now, 
I didn't have a whole bunch of luck with that type of stuff, which in consulting, that's what you want. Like you don't want to find things when you're doing consulting because that means that you're stuck. Like you're going to be out there for so much longer than uh, you initially would have planned to be. Because mm-hmm. like I extended a whole day of I extended what would have been probably a couple days of work to or not a, not a couple days of work, but like one good day of work to like a day and a half because we kept finding things. And every time you find it, there's protocol. Every time you find something, there's protocols for finding anything else that surrounds it. So. It's kind of a, it's a very long process. Even I was about to say, that sounds tedious as hell, honestly. Yeah, well, yeah, the one field of the, uh, or the one part of the field that I was actually looking into studying is uh, bioarchaeology, which is looking at bones and stuff. And you can't use metal tools in that, uh, in that work. Because metal tools will quite quickly damage bones. And oh. uh, so you're basically limited to using toothpicks oh that was or, uh, so, not not toothpicks uh chopsticks that's the uh same like field as paleontology right but that's <laughs> careful what you say tristan that's a uh that's a sensitive topic for a lot of archaeologists because paleontology is everything that is older than people okay uh, with some with some exceptions so like anything that is older than the human genome is paleontology Anything that deals with humans in general, or like humans in a historical setting, is archaeology. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, so there's kind of a really fine line with the things that uh, involve humans. So technically speaking, mammoths are part of archaeology as well as paleontology, depending on how you're using them. So if you have, say, a whole bunch of mammoth bones in one place, that's a sign that you've got, like, a butchering site for uh, early humans. Huh. But if you just have, say, a mammoth skeleton that was frozen in the ice, that could qualify paleontology. That's... I, so. I honestly didn't know that. I, I thought paleontology, honestly, I legit thought it was just dinosaurs. <laughs> That's what it I is, thought it, it was. Is, it is dinosaurs, but it's also, uh, like... Oh, it's like the prehistoric uh microorganisms and stuff in the uh, in the seas like everything back billions of years like i guess a billion years to like i think two million years four million years something like that so anything kind of in that area or anything as long as it doesn't deal with humans and is old enough is paleontology fair enough so essentially just fossils is the biggest part um, if, if you could go back in and have dinner with two historical people in the world, who would it be and why? Out of curiosity. In terms of, his, in terms of historical people, um, I did, I haven't really thought of a whole lot of people that are like really old. I mean, one thing that would kind of be neat, mostly just out of piquing my own curiosity is talking to Nikola Tesla. Because he's kind of like the history or historical uh, uh, historical Elon Musk with all his inventions and stuff. I want to know how much of what he's actually credited with was actually real. Like, was the death ray real? Was, uh, like, there's so many things that he's credited with that seem like they're out of the field of... Uh, of the real world and they've like borderline on science fiction and fantasy. I want to know how many of those things were actually real because so much of his stuff ended up getting destroyed. Yeah. But I also say a... historical, it could be, it could be from nowadays if you wanted. Mm. <laughs> I actually got a couple of family members that I wouldn't mind having a chat with mainly just because <laughs> I've heard some, some really silly stories about them, <laughs> particularly aunt Lucy. Okay. So, uh, essentially, she was my great-great-great aunt, my great-great-grandfather's uh, little sister, uh, who was the definition of a wild child in the family, and spent oh, spent her, I guess they call them golden years, like what is it, when you're in your 60s and 70s and 80s, uh, spent her golden years... Uh, Riding motorcycles and uh, getting hammered. Oh, so that like, is not what I was expecting to hear at so, the golden era. 
Well, she she had a fun later life. I mean, she she had a probably pretty fun life for most of it, judging by the stuff she's done. But the stories that I have heard about her, like there's two big ones. One of them being that when she was about 75 or so, her children and grandchildren put their money together to buy a a funeral plot for her because they were expecting her not to live for much longer. Oh, shit. Well, yeah, the great grandkid, her great kids and everything. Uh, So she... (laughs) Uh, she, to spite them, and because she wasn't planning on dying anytime soon, sold the funeral plot, and used the money to buy herself a bright red wig, and I believe a motorcycle of her own. That's... that's awesome. <laughs> and and spent her days riding around on motorcycles with her new boyfriend slash husband wearing this bright red wig. Uh, so there's that story from earlier, and I think... Like, later in her life, she was at least in her 80s. And uh, so my great-great-grandpa's not doing so well. He's having a lot of heart issues. He's he's in his 80s as well. So so Aunt Lucy and uh, her younger sister Ada decide they want to be good sisters and try to look after their brother as best they can. So they he's doing okay. They bring him home from the hospital and try to get him to go to sleep. And uh, But his chest pain starts acting up because his heart's not doing well. So he doesn't want to go back to the hospital again. So they are trying to brainstorm, okay, what's a thing that we can do here for him that will like settle him down and get him to go to like get him to go to sleep and maybe he'll be better in the morning. So Lucy pipes up. Well, she pulls out her hip flask that's full of a drambuie, which is a Scottish liqueur. Mm -hmm. Uh, Pulls out a flask of that and says, a shot of this always helps me go to sleep when I can't. So Aunt Ada, uh, who has been a school marm her whole life and does not dr- and does not touch the stuff, uh, asks, well, do you really think it might work? <laughs> she says, well, there's only one way to find out. Uh, get three glasses. You are, not giving my- you are not giving our dying brother three glasses of this liquid of yours. Well, no, it's not three glasses for him. We can't let him drink alone. <laughs> so Lucy pours out three glasses of the stuff. They all have their drink. Grandpa Arnold feels okay, goes off to bed, and doesn't wake up in the morning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lovely. And uh, it and now I'm going to I'm going to clear this up. It was not from the drink. <laughs> I I wouldn't imagine it was from the drink. I think it was it was like it was he just probably had, like he, his time his, I'm assuming. His, it was it was just a matter of time. His heart just stopped from just being old and just not just being in the condition he was, but <laughs> Uh, Aunt Ada was just spreading the idea that this devil liquid from Lucy murdered our brother. <laughs> so now we just keep a bottle. Or anytime that uh, a bottle of Drambuie gets broken up, that story gets shared in my family. <laughs> That's an awesome story. So I I'd, really lo- like that I'd, love, story. I'd love to. I'd love to talk to Aunt Lucy and just <laughs> hear some of these other crazy stories about her. Um, if you could but... live in any world, like. Any fictional type of world, uh, what what uh, what world would it be? Well, certainly not the one that I'm playing through right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It seems like you're having such a good time. Yeah, being ripped apart by a werewolf priest. <laughs> yeah, sounds like Bloodborne, a great time. Yeah, Bloodborne is definitely not at the top of my list, even though I love it to death. But <sighs> things that kind of came to mind typically tend to be things like Skyrim where it's any kind of world where it's not everything is awful everything just sucks like anybody who wants to live in game of in the world of game of thrones is lying to you (laughs) because nobody wants to live in that world that world is awful (laughs) that world is terrible you don't want to be there Uh, yeah like it's the same thing with any like from software game i do i would not want to live in like in any world from dark souls something like skyrim where like you can kind of have a normal life you may have to like stab a wolf every so often but uh apart from that it would be kind of chill i don't think minecraft would be a good choice uh why don't you think that would be a good choice i don't know you go you you go to sleep and then every kind of monster just kind of poofs into existence or they just crawl out of the ground and like if they get too close to your house you have nightmares and cannot sleep that's for some reason that's that's... an explanation though 
looking at my giant poster that I currently have set against the wall, I can't believe I didn't think of Adventure Time. <laughs> that would be a, that would that be... it's a it's a trip, but it would be one hell of a fun trip. That would be a very good trip. I'm not gonna like, lie, just, that would be a good one. Like just this mildly post-apocalyptic, but also heavy fantasy and just absolute madness all over the place. Like that that would be fun. That would be a fun world to live in. Until like, you know, just all absolute shit breaks loose and like there's demons crawling forth everywhere and all that kind of stuff. But it would be a fun trip until then. Is Adventure Time like one of your favorite um shows that are that is out there right now? Animated Western shows, hundred percent. Like if you're cutting out things like anime and stuff, then that's definitely my that's definitely one of my favorite shows. That's like I I grew up with that and grew into it. Like or that shouldn't maybe that's not the right word, but grew up with the show because it started when I was like just about to start middle school, I guess. I think that's about when it came out. But uh, it's just silly fun. Like the I think the easiest way to put it or the best way to describe it is like. Futurama, but less raunchy, but yet also raunchy in the same way. <laughs> that is the most accurate uh, description I've ever heard of an Adventure Time. Because it's like, it's all these crazy, wacky adventures, crazy, 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 all your in your face all the time. And then it just out of nowhere, it hits you with an episode that's way too real and makes you sad. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like they they both do it so well and they're both so well made, like. Futurama never should have gotten uh never should have gotten canceled either. I, I fully agree. Adventure Time isn't canceled. It's it's uh it finished actually. It didn't get canceled. It uh, it just finished the story. Oh, they just finished tell. it. Okay. Yeah, they finished it. They still have like some like there was distant lands for a while that's kind of like continuing some loose ends and stuff that Adventure Time left off with, but yeah, it was a uh, uh it it was a satisfying ending, I think. Like they kind of had the "Where are they now?" ending for everything, and it's all emotional because everything's kind of going right, except for one or two things that make you especially sad. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna combine two questions into one to make it. Uh, do you have any like fun stories that you'd like to tell? Uh, any good memories that happened with me in video games and or the one time we've met in real life? <laughs> well, I mean, there was uh, there was A's wedding and the fact that I was the only person who drank at it because you didn't want your jello shot. Listen, I don't like jello. <laughs> Neither you nor Des wanted their shots. Des just doesn't like jello shots. I just don't like jello. <laughs> yeah, but I was the only one who had anything to drink at that wedding because you both gave me your shots. Didn't, um, did Ray give you his? Did Ray get one? I think Ray got one. Okay, uh, well, I don't think he would have had it. Maybe he passed it off to somebody else. Maybe. Maybe he passed it off to A, honestly. that's That sounds about right. <laughs> Just handed it back to A. Uh, <laughs> the only two drunkards are the ones who, of this group, have spoken the least. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he... <laughs> yeah, the only time that I had talked to A beforehand was uh, in the Minecraft server. And uh, that was when... Uh, like, we're talking for just a little bit, because it's just he and I there, and uh, I'm guiding him to where we had set up our camp. And he asks, so do you have any potatoes or anything? So I said, or do you have, like, any anything to eat? It's like, okay, I've got I got some potatoes. i got lots of them you can have. we got a massive farm. Are you offering me potatoes because I'm Irish? Are you racist? I, I, re I vaguely recall that story. <laughs> that was the first interaction you ever had with A, and he called you racist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what an but, A thing to do. But uh, in terms of ones that involve you, I'm so sad that we never got it recorded. That we like both of us forgot to clip the stream. It was when we were playing. Uh, I think Blight had come out, or I had just bought Blight in Dead by Daylight. And uh, oh, what was it? Um, oh. <laughs> It was when... Was it when you I were bouncing still... around the graveyard? When I was bouncing around the graveyard, yeah. And I just bounce at the wrong time, trying to chase you down. And I end up, like, you pivoted 180 and went in the exact opposite direction I was running. And I just zip off in the, ex in the wrong direction. And, like, 
I fully agree with Colton that Dead by Daylight would be hilarious with um, proximity chat. Because just my voice getting really quiet as I get farther and farther away, screaming in terror, running in the wrong direction. I am so upset none of us got that character. Uh, neither of us so remember funny, too. But... Oh, uh, it it's got to be like some Dead by Daylight stuff that was the funniest stuff for us. But <laughs> I'd imagine. Uh, I mean, there was also it's one of the things that you did end up saving on TikTok. It was when you were trying to do. I think you were working on Dredgen for D2 to try and finally get a title for yourself. And you kept trying to get uh, like you were trying to hunt down uh invaders that were trying to they were in their super and you had to kill them yeah and like the whole team got just murked and someone calls out like can someone finally take care of this guy say <laughs> just me in the distance i'm on it <laughs> you just see a blue beam erupt from the corner <laughs> of the map <laughs> guardian down <laughs> there was also mm. the i think in the same game uh, the one where Toddy killed the last, the guy that I was about to kill. And you freaked the fuck and out. And I lost my mind. <laughs> yep, I remember that one. Mo mostly, you, I was mostly doing that for content. I wasn't actually Yeah, angry. yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> oh. Uh. uh. <laughs> yeah, other than that, it's mostly gonna be like, Oh, well, how did I forget? When I, when you hit me in the, the back of the head with a snowball. <laughs> And you and knocked then I me down the cave, shooting you into the abyss <laughs> next to our base in Minecraft. I will that that uh, that laugh that you did when you knocked me into the cave. It occasionally comes back to me just how giddy you were that I fell down. On stream. I, what happened? I've been worried about that a long time. He's currently in hell. How do I get out of here? <laughs> He has 28 dirt blocks to dig his way out of the abyss. <laughs> what happened? I shot Tristan in the back of the head with an arrow and knocked him into the ravine. Oh, no! <laughs> He's in the abyss, baby. Help. He just went to the shadow realm. I do that laugh. I have done that laugh maybe twice in oh, my life. It was. And I know that. I know that one of them was, uh, like, one of them was for that. The other time was when I was in Deep Rock Galactic and found a glitch with one of the emotes where if you drink while you're doing it, uh, your legs just spin, but your body stays stationary. <laughs> so it's just the most cursed looking thing. That sounds very cursed. <laughs> that sounds it, it was awful. excessively cursed, but I lost my shit. We gotta get... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> In the exact, like, to the exact same level. Like, I was laughing for, like, a straight five minutes there as well. Like I said, that, every once in a while... That, like, that laugh that you did honestly does come back to me because you were just so happy that that, that happened. I just never expected you. I didn't expect you to fly that far when I shot you. I wasn't expecting to fly at all. I knew I was running away. I didn't know what you were going to I think we timed it at the exact right time that you jumped. Mm -hmm. Like, you jumped to get over a ledge, and I hit you in the back, and you just flew. So, yeah, that was uh, great. Um, all right. Yeah, uh, last last question. Where yes. can we find you on like socials, i.e., Twitch, YouTube, Twitter? Where, where so, essentially, I am lithium in almost everything or some variation of the thing. My current oh, I'm being chased by something. Uh, my current Twitch handle. Oh God damn! I'm covered in wires right now. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Let's see. Where can I Where can I be found? I can be found on Twitch. I will actually be streaming <laughs> not too short from her, not too short from now. In at about Lithium roughly at 8 minutes. In about 8 minutes or so. I can be found on Twitch at Lithium115 or under or on YouTube at just Lithium. But uh, I think 
whatever it's called. I think the handle that they have me at for an address now is lithium underscore CXV or lithium 115 in some manner. The links to those will be down in the description. Yep. I also have a lit. Uh, yeah, I guess if all the links are going to be there anyway, I don't need to list them all. Yeah, no, I, I'll I'll link all, all these in all the yeah, description. That will that'll work. <laughs> Honestly, do you have a Twitter? I have a Twitter. I actually, yeah, I do. I do post to it. That's also Lithium CXV. Is it okay? Yeah, I post very rarely. It's mostly just to advertise streams. That's usually what I use mine for, besides wrestling stuff. Yeah, or if something really, really silly happens. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, that was the last question that I had for you. All righty then. Fun talking to you. I'll see you yeah. in like eight minutes. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, I'll. Uh, I'm just gonna end the video, and then I'll. Uh, I'm gonna go to check up on Desi, and then I'll probably join the stream party chat so we can right. stream. All right. I can. Uh, I'll boot up Bungus. All right. Talk okay. to you later, man. See you in a bit. All right, thanks for uh, watching. That was a that was a very fun time, and uh, now you once again, no more of my friends. See you guys later. <laughs>